Hello friends, welcome to Be Learning Club. In this tutorial, I will show you how can you add an animated search bar in your blog project or any Django website. Okay, so just type the query here Python and here are two results Python and Django framework. Inside the Django framework, the Python is here. Okay, and now search for a random. Okay, so here is no result for your query. Okay, so just search for Django so here is one raise here is one result and just search for Google and just search for it and here are two results what is Google and what is YouTube there are two blogs about Google so in this tutorial I will show you how can you do that for this you need a Django project <laughs> This is a simple blog website I had already discussed it before one of my videos. So this is a just simple blog website. This is a list view and this is a detail view. And here I just add one thing. This is the animated search button. So if you have custom CSS or HTML code for your animated search button like this. So you can use it. But I use this simple animated search bar from w3school.com I will put this link in the description box otherwise you can go to the w3school.com website and you can search for animated search button okay so just go to try it yourself and here is the code for animated search button okay so just go to your project and just open it with any code editor okay so this is our project and this is our application name the application name is block and this is the view so at first go to the templates and this is the list html so this is the for loop for grabbing all block and after our blog website so here i just add this animated search button means here so just add a h tag and I just copy this style and at first paste here inside head tag and now copy this form and here just paste it and now save it so just save it and refresh your server so you can see okay so here just add a class name for bootstrap is container container and now refresh it so okay and before this i just add one thing search your query h4 and just type search query okay show okay so you can design it in your own way so here anybody just want to search for a particular block so we need a function at first so just go to views.py and just here create a search function so def search -E search and just type request and now what we have to do at first create an object query q u e r y query equal none and now type here uh, empty list object result R E S U L T. and inside this empty list the result will be added and here you have to type your conditions for result and for now I just return the HTML page return render and at first you have to pass the request argument and then you have to pass to your templates name so I just type search dot HTML and now you have to pass the context okay so now go to templates here I just create search dot HTML and 
this is the list and here is the form tag here just type action and just type the url so just type url and then type the namespace of the url so the go to views.py and is a search function and now go to urls.py here create a path for the search function so just type path and now type search 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 and then type the function name function name is what function name is search so just type search and name of the url is search and now go to list.html here just type name of the url search and when the form is submit it will go to this url and this is for search function this and here just type your condition if request dot method equal get then query query this object equal request dot get this is the method request dot get this is the method and now get the name of the input field so what is the name of the input field here the name of the input field is search okay so just put it here search okay so now your query is stored inside this object and now type result result equal what result equal what is our model for the blog so the model is my blog so here just type my blog just type your model dot object dot filter and now filter by q vector so you have to import q also so just type from django dot db dot models input q okay so here just type q and then type search from where so go to models here are three field title slag and description for the blog so i just want to search for title and description field so just go to views.py and here just search for title at first t i t l e title title does does i contents i content c o n t a i n s i contents i contents equal query that means if this query matched with any word letter or sentence with title field then i will get my result so here i just search for title field and as well as also description field des so just go to views.py and here just type another q and now type des this is a field name and then type the oldest i contents i contents and i contents equal query and you can add also another field in this manner so you can add also your anything body whatever you have so i just want to search for these two field title and description okay so now save it and now you have to pass the query and result here so just pass the query q u e r y query and query is what query is this query means this and now just pass the result results and results is what results is this result object okay so now i will use these two django variable inside the search html so just go to list html and i just 
select uh, all and just copy it and now go to search html here just paste it and here is the for loop for grabbing the object so i just remove it so now here uh, you can type um, the for loop so just type for a x e result r e s u l t s results so just check it okay results so now go to search html here and now end the for tag at first end for so if the result is not none then the for loop will so so that's for just add if result means some object are stored in results then this for loop will visible okay so that's why i just here add the if tag if r e s u l t s if results then the for loop will will visible so here just end the if tag also so just end the if tag end if and inside this for loop i just grab a title and a description as well so just title of the query and what is the title of the query mm. so just type x dot t i t l okay x dot title and now here i just add a anchor tag that means when any user click on the title he will go to the detail page of the title so here just add hyper reference which are ef hyper reference and i just go to detail dot html here is the detail page and just go to list dot html and here is the for loop for grabbing the all object and here is the get absolute url method i used already so what is the get absolute url method i think you already know i have uh, made a video on this topic so just watch it so just use this get absolute url method so for this get absolute url method just you need to create a function get absolute url inside the model okay so just copy this and now go to search html here just type x dot get absolute url and anybody click on this url he will go to the detail page of the blog okay so now i think this is fine so now run the server at first mm, so now refresh it and the search for query i just search for python python okay you can see the two blogs are here python programming language and framework okay i just click on python programming language and then click on django framework so here you can see the python what and here also you can see the python what in the title or description field and just go to the search html and just go to the detail uh, list html here i just use a description for 20 words i just copy it and now go to search html here after the title i just paste it this is the description of the title okay and the title contains 20 and uh, sorry the description contains 20 words maximum okay so after it i just use the be attack and now save it and now just replace it and search for python again and now you can see the title and the 20 words description okay so this is the detail page of python and this also the detail page of django framework blog okay so i just search for title and the description field so i think you have a lot of fields for your blog project so you can uh, use that so now just a random search here okay so nothing will show so for this i just check uh, i just uh, create a condition also here inside search.html and i also passed query 
okay so i will use it in inside search html so here just type uh, if condition again so just type if query if query then print the query search for the query q u e r y query is a django variable i already passed through the function search now just end the if tag as well so just end if end if and now here i just use a p paragraph tag and just paste inside paragraph tag and add a class name lead okay so here you can use the strong tag also strong or and now just copy this query and paste inside the strong tag okay so now search now go to the project and just run the local host and just search for anything randomly so search for this okay so you got no result mm, just add a space here and in this way you can create your own condition so just replace it so search for this you have no results so if here is no result for your query then i just want to print here there is no result for your query so for this go to search.html here is the if tag for results and now here just type the if tag again so just type if not result that means the results is none so just type if not results then so just type here here is no results for your query so just type query query is a variable and now just end the if tag here so just end if and now save it okay now run the server and now refresh it okay so just search randomly anything so here is no result for your query this okay so you can also use strong tag here but for uh, it's up to you you can design it yourself so here is no result for your query this so if you search for django this is a django framework okay so if you search for google so here is a google and what is the youtube uh, so i think inside the description field the google word is there okay so here is a google word so that's why in in these results this blog is included because here inside the filter i use also description field okay so i hope this video is very helpful to you okay so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel see you in next video friends thank you